This is the magnificent market square of the small town of Revel, north of the Pyrenees. The farmer's market has been here under a medieval roof and in the square for almost 700 years. It is one of the most loved markets in France. A snail farmer sells live snails, but also two different gourmet dishes ready to it, one with garlic and herbs, and the other with salami and tomato. Mm. Very nice. Marion, a cook, sells an original variety of homemade jam and creates a new jam flavor every week. This week, she harvested wild dandelion flowers to concoct a delicious jelly with citrus fruits. The display from Mazak, the local cheese producer, is tempting. They also create unique cheeses. It is my first ever taste of the soft, tasty washed wine ribotin made with unpasteurized cow's milk. Very flavorsome, very delicious. We make the cheese ourselves and we collect the milk around here. The famous saucis de Toulouse that is grilled in summer and cooked in the cassoulet in winter. The local baker's goods are selling like hotcakes. The crunchy croquant are fragile almond meringue biscuits enjoyed with coffee. The large oreillettes dusted with sugar are thin, crunchy fritters. The most popular family pâtisserie is the pumpet, a lemon-flavored rectangle of sweet puff pastry decorated with the Occitan cross and traditionally garnished with apple puree. The large pans of prepared meals offer a most impressive variety of specialties from France, nearby Spain, and North Africa ready to take home. The bouillabaisse fish stew, the beef stick dough, the paella look inviting. But my lunch is already planned. Chef Bernard Aimes from the restaurant du Midi has prepared for me the famous cassoulet. It is a slow cooked stew of local beans with tender confit pork belly, tasty confit duck legs, and pieces of the great local sausage. One of the best dishes of regional French cuisine. This rustic snail dish with spinach and walnut butter is appreciated by French people of all ages. In a bowl with butter, I add some chopped shallots, chopped garlic, chopped parsley, chopped walnuts, a little salt and pepper, and the juice of half a lemon. I combine this batter well with a fork, flatten it between two layers of baking paper, and place it on ice to harden. The idea is to chill the batter so it is easier for me to put it evenly on the snails. Next, I mix a little cream into one cup of cooked spinach. I spoon a little spinach into four gratin dishes and top each with 12 cooked snails. I cover the snails with a little herb butter and sprinkle generously with breadcrumbs. I like to bake it in a hot oven for about five minutes. These escargot au beurre d'herbe et de noix smell wonderful and taste even better. Tomorrow we arrive in the magnificent town of Béziers to taste the specialties of the Languedoc-Roussillon.